Sudden cardiac death, or SCD, also known as cardiac arrest, happens when the heart's electrical circuitry fails, resulting in a lack of pumping function and, if ignored, death. Heart disease is one of the main causes of death in the United States each year, with SCD accounting for over half of all heart disease deaths. The American Heart Association estimates that SCD kills 335,000 Americans each year, more than strokes, lung cancer, and breast cancer combined. Sudden cardiac death is an electrical disruption, not a myocardial infarction, or heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the arteries of the heart get suddenly blocked, this can result in sudden cardiac death if a cardiac arrhythmia develops. Ventricular fibrillation is the most common electrical disruption causing sudden cardiac death. It denotes chaotic, unorganized ventricular activity with more than 300 beats per minute and little structured ventricular activity or contraction, resulting in hemodynamic collapse. VF eventually leads to asystole, or flatlining, with no heart electrical activity in death. To save the patient's life, the primary immediate treatment is electrical cardioversion. The vast majority of ventricular fibrillation patients die before they reach the hospital. The causes of sudden cardiac death vary, but the most common cause is coronary artery disease. Patients with a history of myocardial infarction and structural heart disease are more likely to die suddenly. Furthermore, patients with structural heart disease and heart failure that is unrelated to coronary artery disease are at risk for sudden cardiac death if their heart pumping function, as assessed by ejection fraction or EF is sufficiently reduced. A poor cardiac contractile, or pumping, function is a major predictor of future risk for SCD. Ejection fraction is a powerful technique for identifying those who are at a higher risk of sudden cardiac death. Ejection fraction is a powerful tool to classify those in the population with a higher risk of sudden cardiac death. Your physician will typically make an assessment of your heart function that will be reported as a percentage called ejection fraction. A normal ejection fraction is 55%. An ejection fraction of less than 35% puts you at greater risk of sudden cardiac death over the next several years. Consequently, your physician may recommend placing an implantable cardioverter defibrillator for primary prevention, that is to prevent future episodes of sudden cardiac death caused by arrhythmia. To save the patient's life, the primary acute treatment is an electrical cardioversion or defibrillation. The majority of patients who suffer SCD die before reaching the hospital. ICD therapy is used both for primary prevention to prevent sudden cardiac death in a subset of the population with significantly diminished left heart function and ejection fractions commonly lower than 35 to 40 percent. If a patient survives an out-of-hospital sudden cardiac death, they will commonly also receive an ICD system for secondary prevention of future episodes if there is no identification of a potential reversible cause for the event. In this video series on cardiac arrest, we will discuss about the pathophysiology of cardiac arrest, preventive measures to avoid it and treatment option along with ACLS protocol to follow with various guidelines in detail. So please subscribe and support us, thank you.